bronze claim on Blue Pass. And the morning of the second day, obviously everything that we dug out previously is filled in with water. So it's, we got a little pond right here, and this is because we're actually working below the water table. So when we start the engine up, we'll, we'll carefully lower the nozzle in. It'll take all the water out, and this hole will be completely dry, except for that little bit of water that we're using to work the hole with. Ron, what do you think? We're swamp bound. I think we should find at least half ounce nuggets today. Okay, Start Dave says right. half ounce nuggets today. By God, we're going to find half ounce nuggets today. And that's that. Okay, so here's the hole after we um, pulled all the water out with the nozzle. See, it's almost completely dry. Bedrock exposed in the bottom of the hole. And we took that whole thing yesterday, and we only worked half a day. So that's pretty amazing. And hey, we got some good gold, too. About three and a half hours into the second day. Following the bedrock up the old riverbed. Back throwing the hole back here. It's about um, pretty close to six feet of lift from the end of the discharge pipe. Back down to where the nozzle is. Big old chunk of bedrock. Ron's pulling out of there. You can see there's material underneath it. That's a good sign. You know, the machine was made for this. Keeps the hole completely dry except for a tiny bit of water. You can really clean the bedrock with the nozzle. And look at that material packed in super tight. That drop just breaks apart. This is high banking at its best. Here we are, morning of the third day. Mining in the swamp at Blewett Pass. Now this area that we're mining is actually completely separated by the highway from the from Pashaston Creek. So the only water that's flowing over here is the water that seeps underneath the highway. And we're not even in the waterway. Okay, you see the water that's coming off the back of the box? And by the cleaner machine? What we're mining down in the hole is about um, is about three or four feet below that water line. So of course, when we first start up, like I showed earlier, we have to um, we have to drain out all that water with the nozzle. It takes about um, it took us about five minutes the first time to do it, and this morning because the hole was so much bigger, it took about ten minutes to get all the water out. Now we'll go up and look at the hole. I'll show you how big it is. So we started right about here on Tuesday afternoon, and now we've taken the hole all the way out to there, beyond where Ron is at the nozzle. And the material is getting deeper, and we're finally getting into that really good looking light clay, the clay that you find the nuggets in. We try to zoom in. Right over Ron's shoulder, there's a really big rock with the hard pack material and the clay underneath. So of course that's where our big nugget is, we hope. We'll see. But we've already taken some good gold out of here. Every cleanup's been 
every cleanup we've done has been better than the one before. So there's quite a bit of gold in here. I'm impressed with how much gold there is in here. And it, you know, it's real easy to work because the material is relatively shallow. You can see the bedrock right there. The material is no more than um, three feet deep. So it goes pretty good. There's, you know, there's some big rocks, but the majority of the rocks we could easily throw out by hand. Ron is moving that rock. Just as the battery runs out on the camcorder, I gotta shut it down. But the rocket is, is in motion. Okay, it's 11.26. On the third day, we've been mining since about nine o'clock. Ron got his come along and change and we pulled that, pulled that big rock out of the way. I added an ABS pipe extension. If we can get the nozzle forward ahead more, we move the, um, we move the framework ahead. Um, there was a little nugget down there on the bedrock that I picked up with my, with my fingers. That was pretty exciting. It was like a match head size nugget. Would have got it on film, but the, um, the battery was low, so I just got the battery for the camera off the charger. So we'll look at it tonight. So what we're doing is we're taking 30 minute shifts on the nozzle. Ron gets 30 minutes, then I go in for 30 minutes and we switch back and forth like that. It works really well. You don't get tired out, you get, out, you get, um, you get plenty of break time and the machine keeps material going all the time. And man, does this thing move the material. Look at the size of our tailings pile. Okay, it's 12.30 on the third day. We've been mining since 9 o'clock. Added an ABS pipe extension. This is the longest I've ever set the machine up in terms of how long it is from the recovery system down to the jets. Still working fine. I could even add more pipe if I needed to. The whole bottom of the hole is all exposed bedrock. Okay, here's the cleanup sluice from the third day. We got a lot of gold today. We easily got as much gold today as we did with the previous two days combined. And you should be able to see the gold down in the ripples of the cleanup sluice. Fantastic day.